an undercard bout, and no one's talking about anybody on that undercard. Right. Looking at the main event. Right. For good reason. Light, lightweight championship, you know, a great champion in Linares, it's a great champion in Lomachenko, and that deserves to be the story of the night. But you are living your story. It's happening right in front of our eyes. It's there to see if you want to see it. You know? We have another, I think, before the end of the year, we had another fight that was, that was televised. I was in Vegas. I, was watching, I think I saw it like at a bar or whatever. You know what I mean? And I'm watching you. And you're looking better. You got a stoppage, you know? Right? And I'm like, and I think you dropped down to 130 or close to it. I'm like, looks good. Looks good physically, you know? And then maybe there's another fight before you get the shot at uh, yeah, the WBO. I, I, I think it was in Texas, you know? Right. Yeah, it was down in Texas with the Hart and you know, Zordo fight. The right. Rematch, the rematch. Exactly. That's, that's exactly. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Look even sharper in that one. But Edo had a lot of. He middle. had a lot of momentum, right? He beats Christopher Diaz, and he wasn't expecting to do that. Right. And it's a hard he stopped, he stopped his, he stopped his um, mandatory in his first defense. Yes, he did. An uh, undefeated Japan. Russian guy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's like, people are like, well, this guy's a real deal. They're not looking at you like the real deal. So you got to go out You got to go out there and prove it. And without a shadow of a doubt, you, you know, from going from zero to hero, you know, from being discounted or overlooked to... A, a WBO 130 pounds title. That's a big deal. So I'm, I'm real proud to finally get this to you. Thank you. Um, and I, you know, I remember talking to Bomac at the uh, Boxing Writers Association dinner. Right. I think that year uh, in New York City. I was there. It was, after, like, it was after the Josh. Like, like, man, what's it going to take to get him on the cover? <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, one step at a time. Yeah, you got comeback of the year, then you got a feature story. You go from a feature story. To the cover, you know what I mean? No, nah, this is all worth it, though. This, 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 it was definitely hard earned because you know the road I, I had, so. Yeah. I appreciate the recognition. And it's great because you, you came back from two losses. Yeah. You know, fight fans, most fight fans don't forgive you if you lose once. Right. And everyone jumps off the bandwagon if you lose twice. They're like, no, you're dead to us. And um, so it's great when, when the fighter calls, you know, creates his own destiny. You know, it's over when I say it. I know what to do. I know what I need to do to get the best out of myself. And did that. And I'm, glad, I'm glad we were able to chronicle that story and tell that story and I mean, it's still being told. Because um, you're, you're 2021 is uh, sensational so far. Right. Being Carl Frampton is a big deal. Were you, you weren't the underdog for that one. Right? I was. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm always underdog. Okay, I always. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so, I mean, that's the, that's the story then. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, and I, I, honestly, I, I we were talking earlier about what's next. They might make you the underdog against Shakur Stevenson. Of they might make you the underdog against Oscar Valdez. You know, I'm coming to fight. But you beat those guys. That's the kind of those. That's the kind of year that you have to be 